Hey guys, I hope you're already well. So today I have been having fun and just playing with makeup. Most of the makeup is new in makeup, so um, you guys can see what's new on the high streets and high-end makeup. Um, and also just some of them have been out for ages and I've just never tried them before. I've also been trying out some new skincare products, so I'm gonna talk about those in the first part of this video because they are some really nice pieces of skincare that um, hopefully you guys will be interested in. <laughs> yeah, I show you how I get this look in this video, but I'm now gonna cut to me with no makeup on <laughs> and looking slightly different. <laughs> so these are all of the new in skincare products that I've been trying out. Most of them are from the brand Skin Laundry. I was sent quite a few things from their brand. So they're a brand from California. And the first product I've been using in my little routine is the Nourishing Cleansing Oil, um, Skin Conditioning, Facial Cleanser and Makeup Remover. I like changing it up every now and then and going from a cream to like an oil cleanser. All of these products are really lovely and they don't have any like fussiness about them, they just do what they're meant to do and make your skin feel really nice and clean afterwards which is really lovely. I haven't really tried this at taking all my makeup off, I still tend to use the Garnier micellar water just to get the bulk of it off and then I'll go in with a cleanser um, so yeah that's what I've been using first out of all of these new in skincare bits and then I reached for the clarifying toner I literally never use a toner in my routines but I'm definitely going to start using a toner because I feel like it just tightens up my skin and makes it I don't know it just seems a lot more balanced if that makes sense any sense? I'm not very good at talking about skincare. <laughs> so it says it removes excess oil and restores natural pH, um, which is great because my skin has just been all over the place this summer and the bottle is so good. It like pops up and then you've got this little funny bit at the top, which you just put like your cotton pad on, pump it down a few times and then just wipe over your face. The next product is from one of my all time favorite skincare brands, which is Origins. And this is the Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Exfoliating Cleanser Powder. And I was so confused when I opened this. I think I was a bit tired when I tried it out. And um, it's basically just powder and you just put a little bit in your hand and then add water to it and it goes into like a paste and then you put it on your skin. Um, and it's such a gentle cleanser. I hate when your skin just feels sore from exfoliating. But this has been a really nice gentle exfoliator and it just really makes your skin feel nice and clean afterwards. So if you're looking for a good exfoliator to help clear out your pores, then I would recommend this one. I think it's really nice. Origins is quite expensive, but I always think it's worth the money for this brand. Then finally, I have two moisturizers from Skin Laundry. And the first one is Daily Moisturizer, and this has an SPF of 35 in it, which is super good. Um, you can definitely like feel the SPF when you rub it in. It's got that like slightly sticky sun cream feel, but it doesn't feel too sticky on your face. Um, so I've been using that quite a lot recently. And it's also a really nice base for your foundation. It just soaks in nice and quickly and just gives like a nice even layer to your skin. And then at night I've been using the Night Renewal Treatment and it says it's got 0.2 retinol, which I don't know what that is. It says it helps diminish the appearance of wrinkles and evens out skin texture and tone. If anyone knows what retinol is, I feel like I know what it is. I've heard the word before. Let me know in the comments down below, please. <laughs> so yeah, it feels really nice as like a night treatment. None of these feel like super, like your skin goes like, um, but they just feel nice and clean. Like my face feels clean, looks glowing in the morning. So yeah, I'd recommend trying out the Skin Laundry um, if you're interested. They also do amazing sheet masks. Really need to get another sheet mask from the Skin Laundry because it was probably one of the best sheet masks I've ever used. Okay now we can get on to makeup and I have a whole little box full of new makeup. I'm so excited. I've just gone back into like a major like makeup phase again like really loving makeup. Um, <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna play with makeup. All of these items are a real mixture of high-end and low-end makeup. Um, so I hope that's okay. Um, I understand that lots of people can't afford these. I wouldn't personally go out and spend a lot of money on makeup 
all the time. Um, I've been very lucky to be sent most of this stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you to all of the brands that have sent me all of these things to try out. First thing I'm going to use is the Dior Backstage Pro Air Flash Foundation. It's their like spray foundation. They sent it to me in the shade 200 and it says you should apply it straight to your face like that or straight to the brush. And I'm definitely gonna do it straight to the brush <laughs> because I am wearing a really lovely cream dress. And we don't wanna ruin that. <laughs> so you just have to shake it up first. My cat sat next to me and I know she's gonna hate this. They also sent me a buffing brush alongside it. So I might try using this. Although I did pick up the new, one of the new like Real Techniques Shaper sponges which I'm really excited to try out. I might use that for my concealer um, and then we'll try this for foundation. It's a really interesting little shape brush. Very beautiful. Mm. Okay, I'm really scared to spray this. Why did I wear a white top? Mm. Okay, I just sprayed it away from me. I'm gonna, I hope this is the right color. It smells pretty fragrant, but I'm not sure if that's just the, oh it's all okay. I didn't get any on my dress, I don't think. No. So we're just gonna carry on buffing. I'd say the colour's maybe a tiny bit too yellow for me. But we can probably make it work. Take it down the neck a bit. As you can probably see, it's a little bit <laughs> yellow. It's a really lovely texture nice and lightweight and it literally just glides onto the skin it's really lovely and this brush feels really nice as well I'm not sure how much this brush is so um, I can't really say if it's worth the money right now um, it's probably reasonably expensive <laughs> and I guess you couldn't really use it for concealer it's a bit too big but it's really nice for blending this foundation in. this is what the bottle looks like by the way I don't know if I showed you um, Oh, it says it's water resistant. Wow. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> but that's quite cool if it is. Um, so we'll see how this looks at the end of the video. Then to conceal, I'm using this very pale, <laughs> which is my shade, <laughs> um, Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. This is such a huge bottle and I was sent like every single colour under the sun. So that'll be really handy for like if I'm doing a friend's makeup who isn't the same shade as me. Um, so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of this on because it is super pigmented. I've tried this before um, once or twice. Um, and it is a bit confusing because it comes in a bottle that is the size of foundation, but it is concealer. And then I'm gonna blend that in with the Real Techniques Miracle Sculpting Sponge. It's this new little, I don't know how new this is, but um, I hadn't been into like a Boots or Superdrug in a while and it looked very interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna be using that. I'm gonna use a small end and I've made it a bit damp so hopefully it'll work nicely. The sponge is blending it in really nicely. I prefer to use sponges when I've got like a really thick concealer to be fair because sometimes I feel um, brushes just soak it up and get stuck to it. Um, or I use my finger and just blend it out. But this is a really nice, this little sponge. I do love the Real Techniques sponges though, I think they're really good. That's worked out pretty well. I'm just gonna go in with a tiny bit more just over some spots and a little bit more underneath my eyes. I'm also gonna take it on top of my eyelid a bit because I have lots of veins that show through on top of there. I think that worked out pretty well. I do love these Too Faced concealers. Um, I've been trying it out in the shade above or below. This shade is Swan, which I think might be the lightest shade. I'm not too sure, but they're really lovely. If you really want like a full coverage, then I put like a big triangle under my eyes and like a bit on my chin and forehead and then just blend it out and it creates an amazing like high coverage look. Um, but I want to test out this foundation, so I want to see how that looks on my skin as well. But yeah. They work nicely together and my skin looks nice and natural still. I've just zoomed you guys in a bit so you can see more about what's going on and I'm really annoyed at myself because I clearly didn't pick up the blush I really wanted to try out in Superdrug 
so annoyed at myself. Like, but I did, however, pick up these L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shading Sticks. Um, so I'm going to use the shading stick first. I've got the highlighter as well. I can't remember which brand it was that the blush was from. It could have been L'Oreal as well. But hey ho, life goes on. So this one is in the shade 200 and it's called Honey. I'm just going to put this through my cheekbones all around my temples, around my nose and I'm going to go under my chin mm. and then I'm going to blend this out with the big bit of the sponge and just bring it down my neck so that is with the contour stick blended out. It's quite orange but I guess it's kind of like a... I could get away with it as a bronzer slash contour. Um, I don't know, we'll see how it looks once I've done like blush and highlight. So annoyingly I don't have the lovely new blush that I wanted to try um, but I did find this in my little stash of things I haven't tried yet, which is the Elizabeth Arden Cool Glow Cheek Tint. It's in the shade Berry Rush, um, so we'll see what this looks like. If I can get the tag off. I also found this tiny little Kiko brush, um, so I'm going to try using it with that, um, because I don't know if it's going to just like stain the sponge or what it's going to do. Let's try it. Oh. That's probably too much. Ooh. That is actually such a cute little blush. I really like that. So it's a liquid blush and it comes in this little pot which has just got like a film over it and you just press something in there and it comes out. It's a really nice colour. Kind of hard to get it as even as like powder blush. Um, but it's looking alright. And then I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick again. But this time it's in the shade Slay in Rose. I mean. And it's number 503. I'm just going to pop this everywhere that I normally highlight. and then blend it in. I normally don't go for such a pink highlight but I thought it went really nicely with the blush I picked out. Again, I'm gonna have to go back in and try and find the blush that it was now. <laughs> oh, that is so nice. Wow, I love this. Cool. Next up is a product that I'm kind of scared to try out because I started trying it out one day and I think I was a bit tired and it kind of didn't work for me um, but it is the Benefit Brow Contour Pro um, brow product <laughs> it's one of their really cool like clicky pen things this is their new product um, and they also sent me one of these little brow brushes with it so I'm just going to comb through my brows first and then they have all sorts of shades on here there's highlighter lighter shade, deeper shade, definer, and that's it. Um, so let's start out with the lighter shade. And to get the product out, you just twist it at the side, which took me a long time to figure out. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna start in the middle of my brows. I don't know what shade, oh, it's the shade brown light, this pen. Um, this seems quite dark. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use the darker shade in this. And then I'm going to brush back through to just even out the product a bit. Definitely need to do this step because it's quite like a thick pen. So it looks quite obviously drawn on. Not going to lie, it's not one of the easiest brow products I've used. Um, and then I'm going to take the highlight. Oh no, let's take a definer shade. No, it's too yellow for me. Um, okay, I'll take the highlighter shade. Okay, the highlighter shade is probably a little bit darker than my... Oh no, it's alright. Um, so I'm just going to go all around my brow. 
this highlighting shade. And then I'm going to use a little blending tool at the end of this little brush and just blend that in. Mm, that's better. That looks really nice. So that is what my finished brow looks like. I really like that. It kind of looks like a different shape than I normally do, but I don't know. I'm going to try the deeper shade on the outer corner because that is what you're meant to do. Oh, that looks really dark. <laughs> I just tried it out on my hand. Um, just add, oops. Okay, I just put the deeper shade at the edge. Um, it is quite dark, the deeper shade for me because, um, I mean, the lighter shade is a tiny bit too dark, but we can make it work. So these are the finished brows using these two products. And I do love the final look of my brows, but it did take me a little bit longer than usual. Um, and you definitely would want this little tool um, that's got the little spoolie and smudger at the end, um, because this definitely helped create a nice natural looking brow. But it is really nice to have all of the like highlighting shades, lighter and darker, so you can really get like a strong brow with this. I'm then gonna set them into place with the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. I've been using this quite a bit recently and I love it. I moved you in a tiny bit closer to do the eyes um, because I'm using the new Urban Decay Born to Run palette which I am gonna just say I am not the biggest fan of this packaging. I think it's very un Urban Decay like. The actual like packaging itself is really nice and feels really like high quality. It's just the graphics on the front that I'm not the biggest fan of. There's a really really nice big mirror in it and really nice sized eyeshadows. Um, so many eyeshadows. I could do like a green eye makeup right now or an orange one or a purple one. Like there's so many options in here um, that it's just such a great palette and I'm really excited to try it. So I'm just going to take the tiniest bit of the concealer I used at the start just to put on my eyelids because kind of showing through still quite a bit. I'm just going to use it as a little base. Lots of people are probably like, why would you use concealer on your eyelids? But it works for me. I don't think I'm going to go too crazy with an eye look for this makeup look. Or shall I? I don't know. I'm just going to start off with a normal shade all over the eyelid and I'm going to take Blaze, which is this sort of light beige slightly sparkly shade. I'm just going to put that all over my lid. I'm going to just try a really random colourful look today I think. The next shade I'm going to take is Riff and I'm just going to put this on the outer corner and slightly into my crease. I'm also going to take that underneath my eye. I really want to use this really bright orange here, but I just don't think it's going to work for my colouring, sadly. Okay, I think I'm going to go blue. So the next shade I'm going to take is Radio, which is right down here, and it's like a really gorgeous blue. And I'm going to put this on the outer corner. Wow, that's such a nice colour. <gasps> Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna put this across like half my eyelid. I haven't worn coloured eyeshadow like this in so long. I always just stick to my normal eyeshadow routine. Oh, it matches my lovely blue veins. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go in and add more on the outer corner but not blend it in as much. Then I'm gonna take Big Sky, which is this really pretty blue down here. It's like a turquoise actually, isn't it really? And I'm just gonna put this in the center front of my eyelid. I'm gonna take that same color all the way underneath. I'm gonna clear up underneath my eyes once this is finished. Um, but the next shade I'm going to take is Jet, which is like a really dark black. It's sort of like a gray, a dark, really, really dark gray. 
But I'm going to take it on a tiny little brush. This one is a Spectrum A13 brush. It sounds like a motorway. And I'm going to put this on near my lash line. It's not showing up that well, to be fair. I'm going to take the shade Breakaway, which is the lightest shade here. And I'm just going to take it on my finger and just place it on the centre of my eyelid. Blend it out a tiny bit. Then for eyeliner, I'm going to use this one from Chanel, which I was kindly sent. And it's just a really like thick, coal looking eyeliner. So I'm gonna try this out and hope it goes okay. Because I haven't done eyeliner in about half a year. <laughs> That's so nice. That was really easy to use. I'm just gonna smudge it out a tiny bit at the end. Then taking my concealer again, going to just clean up under there. I'm going to use my It Cosmetics brush for this because I need something a little bit more precise than a sponge. Well that was a bit unexpected to go and do a full on eyeshadow look but <laughs> I'm really in the mood to play with makeup. I'm going to finish off the eye look with the new L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. Um, they did send me this but I actually left it in London so I went out and bought it again because it's pretty cool. It comes in this little pot but you can actually move the direction that you want the brush to be held in. I'm going to try it like this but I, I don't know if I can do that actually. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it as normal. But it's like super intense, this mascara. I'm going to do one eye of mascara, top and bottom, and then I'll show you what it looks like compared to nothing. So that's with mascara and this is without. Um, so I'm going to go and do the other eye now. For lips, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Lip Liner in the shade 630. It's just a really gorgeous pinky nude. So I'm just going to slightly overline my lips, I think. Then for lip product, I'm going to use this Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colour in the shade Stripped Benori. It looked like a really nice nude shade, so see how this goes. That's a really lovely lip shade. Not sure if I'm going to be able to wear it that often because my lips get super dry. So we'll see how drying this is. I'm gonna go back in with the highlighting stick and add it where I put concealer around my eyes. So overall, I think all of these products are pretty amazing. I love the foundation and how like lightweight it is and it just looks so like skin. And now that I've got more makeup on and I've like blended it down my neck a bit, it kind of looks the same shade as my face. So that's good. I love these little sculpting pens. I think it might have been a blush in one of these pens that I wanted to pick up, I can't remember now. The eyeshadows are insane. This palette, oh my goodness. Even though it looks a little bit ugly, I would recommend this so much. Um, it's got some really amazing shades in there. And then the mascara is just amazing. Like my lashes look fake right now. Um, so I'd really recommend this. It's not even too expensive for a mascara, it's about £10 at the moment, I think. Lips, I love this sort of lip combo. I always reach for lip liners, they're generally what I use in my everyday routine. So it's nice to have a new one that's nice and peachy and slightly pink. And then the matte lip product, so far it feels alright, um, but I don't know. It's just such a lovely colour, I think. It goes so well with this eye makeup look. And then the brows, I'm still not sure if I'm sold on it. I kind of love the little tool that comes with it and the fact that you can like highlight around your eyebrow. Um, I think that's really great. And to be fair, they look quite decent. <laughs> so yeah. Overall, I think I found some new favourite items to play with in my everyday makeup routine, which is really exciting. So this is what the final look looks like with my hair down. Um, I 
absolutely love this makeup. I haven't worn this much makeup in a long time. <laughs> Just simply because I haven't had the time to sit down and actually play with makeup. And oh, I've just had so much fun filming this video, so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it as well. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think of the look, and if you've tried any of the products out yet, um, I'd love to know what you guys think, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!